for those of you who are still using InDesign to create print related content, you'll know that your images need to be in the CMYK color space versus the RGB color space in order for it to print properly. So, um, as you know that uh, whenever you're downloading imagery off the internet, uh, it is always in the RGB color space and it has to be converted. And many of us, what we'll do is we'll download it, we'll open it up in Photoshop uh, or Illustrator, whichever the case, make the conversion and then place it in the InDesign. However, you don't have to do that. You can actually you can actually do that directly in InDesign. And here's how we're going to do it. Let's, let's get into it. And it's very, very quick and very easy. What you want to do is you're going to go up to, I want to show you that this image right here, all right, when I go over the file, I drop down to package, all right, and you'll see it's clean. However, when I tap on links and images, here's the alert, and it tells me this image is in the RGB color space. All right, so now that I know that, I need to change that. So in the direct selection tool, I tap on the image, I can do the right click and I can say, I'll drop down to it says edit original, tap on that. Once I do that, it's gonna automatically, since it is a rasterized image, it's gonna open it up in Photoshop. I can take the image, I could say, put the mode, go down to CMYK, I'll say okay. All right, I will save it. All right, I will save it, then I'll close it. And I'll say okay. All right, now what I'm gonna do is when I come back to InDesign, tap on this, all right, and then I'm gonna go over just so you can see the change, I'll go to File, I'm in InDesign right now, drop down the package. Again, it's clean, but when I go with links and images, look, nothing is there, because not only did it make the conversion, but it automatically updated it, all right? And you can even do the same thing with Illustrator. So right now I'm gonna go down to the second page, and you're gonna see there's a small Illustrator file here in the corner. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on it with the direct selection tool, right click, say edit original, and it recognized that it is an illustrator. All right, in this case, it's a very gigantic image, which is fine because it can be scaled. So now I'm gonna go over here to file, drop down to document color mode. I can change that to CMYK, very easy. And I can say save, close it down, and it's gonna automatically change it to the CMYK color space. So that's how you can make these quick adjustments directly in InDesign without having to go back and forth and back and forth. You can do it right here in InDesign. And this way now you can just keep doing what you do best and knowing that your file, when you're finished with it, will be print production ready.